bitches. It is me, Sean Michelle. Tis I. I have returned. This is November the 3rd, and it's about five minutes to midnight in the Eastern time zone, Northern Hemisphere. What we're doing here is a little somatic healing ritual. This is my quartz singing bowl that is tuned to the heart chakra and a volcano oracle card from the literary witches oracle. Literary Witches Oracle. I will put the name of that deck in the description if you're interested. But yeah, this video is just going to go out to everyone who needs a bit of healing here on the Witches New Year. We're in like a, you know, really powerful time of um, self-editing and presentation and it's like, you know, don't let things, don't let things get in your way of expressing yourself. And mostly it's like, sometimes it's yourself getting in your way, right? It's your own perception that's creating your reality. So... When you think you can't, it's because you decide you can't, right? We are limitless. We are the triple eight. We are the volcano. The persistence, the patience, the restraint the lust. We are that power to create. We are the unconditionally trusting elements of this universe that make up this reality. And it's our interplay off of each other and all these tensions that that weave our existence, right? And some of us are experiencing this unraveling, this dissolving of these knots of the past, of these wounds and these traumas that have made up our identity. And in that unraveling, in that freeing, it's like all these kind of demons are coming up to the surface. This demonic energy is like bubbling up. Because it's being loosened, right? It's being freed. So it's so important right now to maintain our focus not identifying with those crazy mind feelings because they're bubbling up. We're, we're, uh, we're calling them to the surface. So don't be surprised when they show up and they're difficult. So that's why I'm here doing this meditation this is a meditation I've been working on for a while for myself and um, I kind of refer to it to myself as the pink volcano and um, in a creator aspect right not in a destructive aspect but at the same time if you peek over into the volcano like you're uninvited and you're peeking inside I mean there's no guarantee that you're going to be safe, right? Like, 
that's it's a dangerous territory to be trespassing in. So inherently it is dangerous, but I'm calling in this volcano energy in the creator aspect to cultivate my own energy and to give this as a video, as a recording out to the collective and to my star tribe for healing. So join me in your space where you are and just settle into where you are. You can listen with your eyes closed and just breathe along in whatever way is comfortable for you. Just try to relax, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders and sit in a way that's comfortable and just breathe, focusing on expanding your heart. And I'll kind of guide you through some steps as to the breathing technique that I try to use when I'm doing this meditation as we go along. So I'll be playing the sound bowl and I'll be talking a bit. And yeah, that's what that consists of. And um, I'll begin. to envision pulling on a cord 
pulled up from that pulsing center. And you are going to flex your perineum, squeezing that muscle at your root. and pulling up energy from the center of the earth. And just exhale normally. Concentrate on the inhale. And the contracting of that muscle and the pulling up of energy. What I'm suggesting we're doing is connecting with our earth star chakra, which is below your root chakra, energizing it with the earth's energy and bringing that up into your body. Now, as you bring that up and expand your heart space and you can Vision this as a red light coming up through your root and filling your body, filling your heart space as you expand your chest. And then as you inhale further, push that breath up, up, up through your throat chakra, up into your third eye, up into your crown, and out above your crown to your star chakra. And let that breath expand and fall down around you like a fiber optic light in pink stars so we're pulling pulling the red earth star chakra energy up from the earth up into our body up 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 and squeezing and contracting the perineum muscle Pushing that energy up, up, out through the top of our crown, up to our star chakra and igniting those pink stars that come falling down around us in an egg shape, surrounding us in a sphere of perfect pink light. into your third eye, up into your crown, up above your crown, and exploding out into a filament of pink stars like a fiber optic light shining down around you, shimmering and igniting a pink sphere of light around you. And as you exhale, that pink smoke rolls out of you, as out of the top of a volcano, thick, pink smoke filling this pink sphere of light so that you cannot see or be seen. This space is sacred and just for you is for healing. None can enter and you're safe inside and you're safe to stay as long as you need. You can continue to breathe this way, drawing up this red energy creating this pink star firmament around you and then filling the
this sphere with this pink smoke from within. The power that you have within to create, to create your own reality, to create your own world, to create your own energy. 